to another video from Tyler's Tech. Today I'm taking a look at Deepin 15.4 which was recently just released and is a Debian based distribution. Straight off the bat I really like the theming and it's a very clean interface, there's no top bar, there's a lot of real estate on screen and then you've got your dock down here which you can also change into more of a task bar sort of thing like that but we'll keep it in what well, they call it fashion mode all right so here's your recycling your clock icon wi-fi current volume noise and sort of anything so say if you open a program like steam and it would have a tray notification icon it would also appear here as you can see if I go back into the efficient mode it then has a more traditional look down here okay all right the launcher and which you can also have into categories like that So let's have a look at what we get installed. So if you're in the net out of the box, you get Google Chrome, Skype, and Thunderbird email. Music, you get Spotify and Deepin. I'm assuming that's just a web app, Spotify, I'm not too sure. Deepin video, Deepin screen recorder, voice recorder, and VLC. I installed OBS, so open shot myself. Screenshot software image. And this was a nice surprise. Steam comes out of the box. So all I had to do was log in, update, and then boom, it was up and running. Very nice. Nice change to see a different writer other than sort of your LibreOffice suite. So it uses WPS, text editor there, the reader, your file manager, your store, terminal, system monitor, gparted, nice manager. And then crossover, which is nice to see included. And GW for your packages if you don't like doing it in a terminal. So let's get back to this view and we'll have a look at some of the programs. So we'll start with the file manager. Again, I like the icons, it's got a very nice clean look. Not much to be said about the file manager. Let's just. So it's a tabbed interface. Okay. Right. The store is actually one of the nicer looking stores I've actually seen in a long time. It looks well populated and it it lo doesn't look incomplete like a lot of other stores you'll find. Everything looks like it's got a clean bit of polish on it. And it just it fits, it works. So it's using version four point oh point nine. So let's just look for a simple program like if you go into let's go into graphics. Okay, so we just install GIMP just to test how easy it is. And it's installing, so it's got a one click install. It doesn't seem to prompt me for a password. As you can see where it says slogan, I think that's just where developers haven't added a little. Have any of them got slogans? Slogan, slogan, slogan. No, okay. So that's the store. We'll keep that open. And let's have a look at their music app. Uh, not much to really look at. I haven't got any. Yet. This is a fresh install native. It's not a virtual box. Deep color mode. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Leave it like that. And then deep in movie.
Nice, so it uses the same thing, so I'm guessing if I change the... Um, maybe not. Let me just check something. How open there? No, that's always just black. Okay. Alright. The control center. Very nice. Gibbs installed. So on the right here, a bit like, you know, it's kind of like Budgie where you have all of it in the right hand side. It all looks nice. I like the transparency. And if you do that, you get your icon. So let's have a look at personalization. And to select your theme should come here deep and dark so if we now open the file browser that probably won't change to our reboot let me open up Firefox that should be black there we go um, I like the animations as well quite smooth transitions this is our open box here Let's get back into the settings and we'll just change that back to that. This way you get your icons. Time, date. But no, pretty much everything can be sort of all controlled here. So you do your updates here as well. So if I go to update, and it will check for your updates. And you can leave that like that and then just come back to it just by popping there. It won't go away. I did write some thoughts so far as I was installing it, so let's see what I thought at first. Going okay, for smooth transitions. Yeah, so it has. Let's have a look at the wallpapers. So it comes down here. It's really quite a nice selection they've got. Let's stick with this for now. There we go. So yeah, you've got hot corners set up, so just going up there should bring up that. That hasn't got one. Okay, so that brings up your control center on the side. So let's just do that again. Yeah. It also comes with Skype, which is not the... Um, They've got a new web app that they're trying to push for Linux at the moment, but I like the old traditional actual program, so it's nice that they've included that as well. And as you can see, down here is where the system tray is, so there's my Skype icon there. And I'll quit that like that. So for your office programs, I use WPS, which has a... Um, for me, it's got a Windows feel to it. So your Microsoft Office. It's not a bad thing, I actually quite like it, and it's nice to have something out of the box that's not Libre all the time. As of all of my first impressions, I always test out the snapping, and unfortunately this one does not have freeway out of the box, so it's just side by side at the moment. Okay, let's have a look at their system monitor, which is just up here. Right, so, okay, not as lightweight as you might think. 3 gig. And with that, we've got Firefox, Document Writer. So, yeah, 3 gig is quite a lot. CPU utilization is a little bit higher, but then as again we we are running, we are currently recording, so take that of a pinch of salt. No, first impressions, pretty good. I like it. I think I want to. Um, what's different with this one is I've actually installed this natively on a separate partition because I kind of want to sort of explore it a bit more and. 
Um, Steam, so game performance has been fine. I've only really tested it with Global Offensive, but I had no issues with that. I've got an RX 480 in here, and it, it seems to be going just fine. So that'll do for now. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.